welcome back. <laughs> back for another backpacking trip. Two trips in less than one month. That's a, a rare treat for me. We're heading over to the Dolly Sods Wilderness in West Virginia. But I'm actually going with uh, Travis, a guy that I met um, on YouTube. Also on this trip, I've got some company. The dogs are going with me. <laughs> Heading to the Dolly Sods Wilderness in West Virginia for a three-day hike. Here we go, on our way. Well, we made it. <laughs> to the Canaan Village Inn, or the Cannon Village Inn, I don't know how it's pronounced. The dogs are loving not being in the car. It was about a seven hour drive from Indiana. Neat little spot, it's pet friendly. People are super, super friendly. It gets great reviews. Very excited to start hiking tomorrow. <laughs> That's a nice shot. Bailey is finally relaxed and uh, ready to get some sleep tonight. Ready to get going on Dolly Sods Wilderness, day number one tomorrow. Good night, Bailey. Good morning. <laughs> it's the morning of uh, day number two of the trip first hiking day. Gonna go get some breakfast and then it's about an hour drive down to the trailhead. Excited to get going. The dogs are doing well. They're excited. <laughs> Heading to the breakfast place and there's like rain up in the rain up in the hills right now. Heading into the uh, breakfast nook with for breakfast. Travis is already inside and Bailey's bark. <laughs> now I want to do the circle towers though. Sir, that's, that's big sand? That's yeah, I know. That's, yeah. that's a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Really, if I'm going one time, I really... And there's some, there's some bumper popping on that one. Yes. yes. Um, they're rustic cabins, but um, gosh, it's a great spot. Oh. Can I get you guys ketchup or hot sauce or anything? Breakfast before backpacking. It's nothing better. <clears throat> Heading up to the trailhead. The weather is looking a little bit more threatening than I would care for, but uh, no rain yet. Not a bad view. It's called the cheater's view, according to Travis. Because <laughs> you can drive up here. Well, this is the road up to the Bear Rocks Trailhead, which is where we're going to be starting from. Bailey's pretty excited to get going. She, they're not quite sure what's going on. This is where we're starting from. At the trailhead. Final pack preparations here. It's pretty up here. You can see we're on the top of this really high plateau right at the end of the road. We're geared up and ready to go we're actually hiking up there where those cars are is actually where the trail starts we were gonna park up there so so we got an extra bonus a uh, couple hundred yards in here to start day number one in the Dolly Sods wilderness with Travis we're looking to do the loop and we're just kind of worried if it rains how much how high Red Creek is down at the bottom so if it rains at all I wouldn't go on Dobbin great great at all is pretty marshy when we were there. You're talking the back loop around here? Yeah. 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 Wow. Muck, muck, muck. <laughs> that sounds like fun. Wow. That's a new one. <laughs> Worried about grizzlies or warned about grizzlies, but never bombed. So. We're going to come around here and then swing down to Big Stone Coal. Camp around somewhere around here. I, we'll probably take Big Stone Coal down. We'll have to cross Red Creek there and then another time back over. We're hiking. Dolly Sod Wilderness. So it begins. Here's where we're hiking in. To start off, lots of views for first day, I guess. 
Well, that's the first attraction we've come to, <laughs> the big anthill. <laughs> now, that is one big anthill, by the way. I don't know if you can see. It's, it's moving. It's because of the ants on there. Oh, looks like we got our second attraction, the first hill. <laughs> I like the anthill better than the hill. And this is where the sides part of <laughs> the sides, sides comes from. Oh. oh, that's not the way to go. Oh, man. I'm not sure. That's where Travis stepped right there. Yuck. So much for having dry feet. <laughs> Boardwalk sure is nice. I don't know if I'd want to go a hundred yards of that stuff, but that's what the Dolly Sods gets its name from. Okay. Yeah, we crossed down there, and, and then that you went was up the one. Creek? Yeah. Okay. Which was a tougher crossing here or here? That one was probably the deepest. Second. For, I'm thinking for the dogs, that would probably be the toughest. There's a little stream crossing here. Pretty little area. <laughs> Bailey takes the direct route. Where's my pants? <laughs> Here's what we're hiking in after <laughs> first decent climb. Probably can't hear the wind too well, but uh, there's a good breeze. Probably steady 15 miles an hour. It really makes it comfortable. Without it, with the sun and exposure up here, it'd probably be pretty warm. Not a lot of water though. We're up high. The water might be a concern today because we're going to be up high most of the time. Heading up that way and not bad in terms of views either, huh? Kind of reached a significant milestone or intersection. So we'll come up here day three and then go all the way up this way. Avoid Dobbin Gray because that's where the muck is. Oh, okay, got it. And just like that, we're in a different hiking zone altogether. <laughs> Changes pretty quick. You go from out in the open Wide open, see it for miles, and all of a sudden you're in a pleasant little pine grove. Made it to our lunch break step. Not a bad spot. You're just a sloppy drinker. <laughs> so we're heading down this ridge here? Yes. Wow, look at that. So you can see exactly where we're heading. <laughs> now that the dogs have water. I'm a little less concerned and nice little stop break and this breeze just feels unbelievably nice. Bailey found a little perfect bathtub type spot. The Barco lounger <laughs> for the dog. Yeah, fits her perfect. Lunch break is over and we're hiking again. And we are heading that way. Great, great little lunch stop very revitalizing for both Travis and I and especially the dogs relatively easy hiking for the rest of the day and uh, get into camp get water will be the first order of business we are all short on water now absolutely gorgeous up here you can see forever today carved by the wind I'm guessing Interesting little rock formation. Very neat. The sun's getting a little warmer now, and we've been in it more on this top shelf area here. And we don't have a lot of water, so I've got to hold on to what I have for the dogs. And now we're into a little bit of a rock scramble, rock hop. Change is quick up here. Warm now. It's exposed. Now well, this is what we're hiking in. <laughs> it's kind of rough going to be honest. And I'm really glad Travis knows where he's going because you may notice there's no blazes as we walked across some of those sections of nothing but rock. It wasn't obvious where to go, so. Not bad views. Getting windier. <laughs> the clouds are getting a little thicker too. Not bad, huh? It's pretty beautiful. Welcome to camp. <laughs> or should I say 
fast forward to welcome to camp. <laughs> the last scenes you saw were from uh, way up on top on the plateau up there. Shot on my uh, Canon Vixia G30, which no longer works. <laughs> you are now listening to me and watching me on my new Nikon D810. We're just getting in for the day. Very happy to be here. Found a nice little stream on the downhill, which solved our little water problem that we were having. Night number one in the Dolly Sides wilderness. Dogs are happy. Travis is happy. <laughs> <laughs> we're home for the night. Feels good to be here. You guys happy? You happy to be in camp? <laughs> of course. You happy, Jaden? Everybody's happy to camp. Bailey's taking care of the bug problem in camp. <laughs> She's not willing to move to do it, so they're going to have to come to her. Oh, almost got that one. If you don't want it around the fire ring, is we could set it up easily anywhere in the woods. Right. We'd be better off like creating some, put it in that whole center area there. Right. And just create some seats there. And worry about the fire when it <coughs> stops raining. Doing the cheddar cheese bread. Got the water all uh, purified. It's time to start preparing the, the cheddar cheese bread. I know it sounds always gets the dogs over here all over. Oh, Jaden even woke up for this one. <laughs> Precisely measure, what's it say? One quarter cup. That's one quarter cup. <laughs> That's all there is to it. That's... Okay. You're, dro Sorry. you're drooling. <laughs> Because this is Travis's first time ever. Looking forward to it. Well, Excellent. I hope you enjoy it. I'm sure it will. Yeah. It's the first time with the new recipe, so I have oh. no idea. Gotta... That's excellent. Oh, there you go, Bailey. What? Pleasure. Compliments of Big Timber Brewing Company in Elkins, West Virginia. Matt, the owner, right? Yeah. Matt, the owner, brought that growler, which weighs about four pounds. <laughs> I'm not kidding, four pounds. Like up that. the hill, we're going to go down tomorrow that you'll get to see. And we're all enjoying probably a IPA, I would guess. Thank you, Matt. Big Timber Brewing Company in Elkins, heartily endorsed. <laughs> oh, in, <laughs> time out. <laughs> Good morning, second day of the morning of the second day of the backpacking trip, third day total of the trip. Dogs are already up, I see Travis is over there already up, so that means I probably need to get up too, but it's really comfortable. <laughs> At least so far it looks like a good day for the, the second day of our trip here in the Dolly Sods Wilderness. Basically today is a big descent and a big climb and uh, a couple river crossings. Get up and get everything packed up and get going. Day number two. Excited for it. Should be a good one. Yeah, the production end of it's, it's right now. And I work all kinds of crazy hours depending on. Not easy. Is your now the new ones in Elkins too? Mm-hmm. It's just a few blocks away. So. Been, we made to Russell, Kansas the first night. Is where we stayed. We stopped in St. Louis, saw the arch. We were, we were fun. I mean, went to Russell, Kansas. I guess the home of Bob Dole, that was the big thing. Um, we made it to Denver the next night, hung out there. Even thinking tastes that's good in the Dolly Sods wilderness. We, <laughs> we went Duncan to the Dole, it's called. Uh, Cody, the Dolly's family. 
We are geared up and ready to go. Dogs are, Dogs are definitely ready to go. <laughs> With plenty of energy already. Day number two in the Dolly Sods Wilderness gets going and not such a bad day, huh? <laughs> we are hiking. Matt goes right through it with the sandals. Cool little pine grove here. Really <laughs> unbelievably pleasant hiking right now. You can kind of tell it's going to be getting a whole lot warmer, but for right now it sure is pretty nice. The camera really brightens it up. I can see through the viewfinder, but it is really dark in that little section with how dense these pine trees are. A little bit of a stream crossing. This is getting our feet wet a little bit. Not too bad. See how Travis does this. Like a pro, not a drop on those feet. <laughs> Pretty little spot here. Came upon a cool little waterfall. Big drop off right here, so we're <laughs> keeping the dogs away. A little bit of a trail junction here, and the other thing is, I think uh, this starts the downhill stretch, oh, would yeah. be my guess. So yeah. then the fun part is, we get to go up this once we get <laughs> down to the bottom, so that should be good <laughs> at yeah. the end of the day. That gives you some idea of the grade. And that's just where we came down from. Way up there, actually. It's a pretty steep little section. Kind of tears your knees up a little bit. And then we go with the other direction up. One that looks almost exactly like this, according to Travis. So, fun. <laughs> Interesting little section here. <laughs> I don't know if you can see how steep that is beyond Travis. Been like this pretty much on and off through, ooh, through these. That's the pace we're maintaining here. It's been downhill, you can see behind me the terrain, but we've just been working our way down this ridge with the stream off to the right. Man, oh man. Whoa, ooh, that was close. <laughs> All right, we got the river crossing. Switching the water shoes. <laughs> Jaden definitely has the right idea here. <laughs> He's loving life right now. That was my microphone, by the way, falling out of my uh, bag because I was too stupid to not to zip it up. I didn't zip it up. Oh! 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 Well, that was uh, certainly an eventful uh, stream crossing. <laughs> Glad we put the water shoes on. <laughs> it's, uh, needless to say, our crossing of uh, Red Creek didn't go smoothly. <laughs> <laughs> so we got one more, that was practice, so we got one more time to get it right. Well, we have successfully regrouped. Red Creek took its toll on us, that's for sure. We get to cross the river one more time. And what Travis has described as a similar creek crossing, so that could be entertaining again. And then uh, when we start uphill, after we get to the top is where our camp is. So that's what we got featuring the rest of the day. Pretty little area right after the creek. That's what we're hiking in. Rhododendrons, basically. One of the things I'm realizing about the Dolly Sods wilderness is the diversity of, I guess you'd call them vegetation zones. And it changes really quickly. For, go from to a rhododendron thicket like that, all the way to like beautiful pine forests and open things like this. This little bonus climb continues. 
it's turned into kind of a real climb. Here's the terrain. We realize this is the um, first like real climb we've done. I think we've probably gained about 500 vertical feet already. And it's not even the real one that we get to end the day with. Beautiful little spot here. You can see uh, Jaden up there cooling off. Well, we're on the, the D portion of our pud. That's pointless up and down. <laughs> we just went up a big steep hill. And we just came down a big steam hill. It's a cool little waterfall that runs right next to the trail. We made it back down to the river, which means we have another opportunity for a river crossing or creek crossing here coming up. Maybe we will have learned something from the last time. <laughs> on the water shoes again. Crossing number two. Hopefully this one goes better. <laughs> we learned from that first one though. <laughs> That's what it's all about. Learn from your mistakes. <laughs> Buffalo good. chicken sounds like it's They had a whole bunch of different kinds. Ah, uh, the fun begins. <laughs> I don't know what that looks like on the camera, but from my eye right here, it looks pretty steep. I figure we had about two miles. Uh, to get to camp. If it's all like this, <laughs> that's going to be a long two miles, but good news is that's all we've got to do for the day and then we're in camp. Well, we made it to home for the night. <laughs> we are happy. Travis is happy. I'm happy. Dogs are happy. Here's our spot. Night number two in the Dolly Sods Wilderness. Good space. Good spot. Well, I just thought this was kind of cool. Travis says this is a, uh, a Virginia, West Virginia tradition to hold these little rock chairs. But as you can see from the people behind me, our wilderness is a little crowded right here. <laughs> hit the wall. You did really good today though. Did great. Camp is set up and we are in relaxation mode. It's only about four o'clock. West Virginia traditional stone chairs next to a little fire pit. Probably can't really tell from the sky but it is now completely overcast and what I would describe as thickening. <laughs> So I'm not sure if rain is coming in for sure. We thought that last night. It doesn't look like thunderstorm type stuff. This might be more of a steady type rain. We got the, the big climb out of the way. We've still got a little bit of a climb to do tomorrow, I think, pretty much to start the day. But then we'll be up on that whole shelf area. Another eight miles tomorrow, probably. We did about eight, probably nine today. We'll try to get an early start because we got a long drive home when we get finished tomorrow. But it's been a great trip so far. Love the Dolly Sides Wilderness. This is a pretty amazing place. A lot of action at the river. <laughs> got a whole huge crew of I think, college kids here. We got guys that were taking a bath in the little pool below the below the waterfall. A big huge family or something having a picnic or something up there. Tons and tons of people down here. I actually came down here. I'm going to get a um, HDR time lapse. I tried to of uh, this particular scene here. had this 
shot down Main Street in late classes that they were kind of open. There was always snow and people, and that's what it always reminded me of. Like, that is so cool. Yeah, they're completely different cameras than these guys. Get the first one here. We're good. What that looks like it's gonna be a chunk. When you guys done, it's like it's gonna be a little chunk. Wow. Kind of like appetizer. Off to a push off. Fire's not doing so well. <laughs> Sods Wilderness is off to a little bit of a grungy start. <laughs> it's really grungy outside. See that? My plan is I'm going to try to get everything packed up before everything gets soaked. Day number three begins, but so far not super wet one, just a little, a little moist. And this is what it looks like outside the tent. This camera makes that look way brighter than it is. <laughs> No moisture falling right now, but it's just really cloudy, grungy, just real damp and, well, kind of like what it looks like right there, so kind of cool in its own way. Another another change in the dolly size, man. <laughs> it's like... We're packed up and ready to go. Camp's clean. And we're hiking. Day number three. Oh, kind of grungy, but not bad. No rain. Get me cash for prayer. Yeah. <laughs> Neat little climb. So this is what we find ourselves hiking in. Start day number three. Got to be careful with the footing. Not recommended to be filming, holding a camera in your face while you're doing this. <laughs> I don't know if you can tell how steep it really is, but it is steep. Gives you a little better indication, maybe. Fun way to start the day. <laughs> Whew. And it continues. 
this is what it's been like pretty much from camp almost right away only goes for about maybe a mile like this which that's plenty <laughs> but then after that we've got relatively easy the rest of the day <sighs> tough start to day number three in the dolly sods wilderness cool little spot here heading into the pines it's like a enchanted forest in here came out on this it's really cool nice big meadow and two minutes later we're into a completely different vegetation zone we're on now on the blackbird knob trail just got off the red creek trail that we've been on for ever <laughs> it seems like we took it all the way to the end and it just teed into this trail this place is so cool it just changes every every few hundred yards you seem to be in a completely different vegetation type zone we're coming up from uh, red creek trail and we for a little bit we got on blackbird knob but that would take us out to the road we don't want to go there we're all the way up at okay. bear rocks so we're going to take upper red creek cut across slightly and then take this trail up and okay. then we'll have about two and a half miles. And the cars out there at yeah. Bear Rocks, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. So. Heading up into the clouds. Long straight trail through the meadow. Here, so hang a right on Dobbin Gray, but just for like three one miles. Right, and then we'll get cut up. Okay, that's what yeah. it works. Awesome. Hi. Hi. Yeah. Oh gosh. Oh, we getting you back, cockeyed. She should, she saved us a mile. If we might have taken this, we probably would have cost us a mile and a half. Oh no. She came along at the right time. The uh, Dobbin Grade Trail, by the way, is the quickest route. I'm taking this all the way back to um, the car. But Dobbin Grade, as I've learned. Travis is synonymous with mud, like knee-deep mud. <laughs> this is, uh, I guess why they call it the dolly sod, so <laughs> here's the, the technique. You find these little tiny half-submerged rocks, and actually it gets worse on this particular trail. That's the quickest way back to the car that way, but it's this and worse. Now we're on the Raven Ridge Trail. Heading up there. This is, I uh, can't remember, Trail 521. This is the one we started on. Essentially, we're finishing off what would be called a lollipop. So this is the end of our loop, and then the last couple miles, I think we'll be back the same trail that we came out on, which I think is this Trail 521. reached a significant milestone. We have uh, closed the loop. That's right. So I think they technically call these like a lollipop. Right. So we've just done the candy part of the lollipop and now we're, <laughs> now we gotta do the handle. <laughs> this is where we were on day one, right when we were getting started. Sort of reminds me of the Grayson Highlands on the recently completed AD trip. It's coming and going, it's like we're just rolling through the clouds here two miles from the car. So it's kind of crazy, this is the same section we walked on the first day when we had 100 mile views. Probably a good lesson in the dolly sods. I'm actually glad we got this, because it's really cool in its own way, but I'm really glad we got what we got the first day on this same exact trail when just got the outstanding views. Travis disappearing into the fog. <laughs> wow.
I'm pretty sure I stood on the same spot two days ago and took this beautiful panorama video and some HDR shots of a hundred mile views. Last stream crossing, a little over a mile from the car. We just finished back where Travis was the last decent hill of the trip. Pretty much out in the home stretch. This is when you can start smelling civilization. <laughs> I don't know if you can see it through the fog, but that's that big sign, and those are cars next to it. We have made it to the finish line in the cars. I'd forgotten about the bonus 200 yards we have. <laughs> see, if we would have parked where Travis wanted to park right here, we'd be finished now, but you can, you can actually, you can't see our car, but our car is like right there. <laughs> Heading to the car in the twilight zone. We made it. <laughs> the cars are still here and intact. Always a good, good feeling. Three days in the Dolly Sods wilderness. We did the loop, 25, 26 miles in three days, and we saw it all. We had the highlands with the views, the lowlands with the waterfalls and the water and the river. falls in the river. <laughs> and then the last day coming up with the fog, rhododendron thickets, pine groves, Dolly Sods has it all. And it has it like every quarter mile, something changes. Dolly Sods Wilderness, a great trip, great company with Travis. Thank you very much for inviting me along and we'll be back, fantastic trip.